There's a lot of FUD and rumors regarding Pepe Coin, and I have the official statement by the Pepe Coin lead developer about what had transpired the last couple of days for Pepe Coin. If you do not know, Pepe Coin had crashed massively just the other day because of some FUD, which is actually true and confirmed in this message. We're going to be talking about it. But if I show you guys the Pepe coin, we go over to Pepe coin. We can see, uh, let me go ahead and go to the one hour time frame, pick up all these levels here. Uh, we saw a huge crash the other day for Pepe coin. It continued to crash lower and it's still heading lower as we speak in this very video. So right now we're going to be talking about and going over this entire message. I'm going to be clarifying it for you so you can understand what's going on so that we can understand whether Pepe coin is over with, whether it's finished, whether we should pull our coins out, not invest into it, sell our coins. Let's talk about it. So August 25th, it is the 26th today. So that was yesterday. An update to the Pepe community. So yesterday on August 24th, 2023, which is the information I put out on my Twitter. So make sure you follow my Twitter. A series of unexpected transactions took place from the Pepe multi-sig sex wallet in which 16 trillion Pepe coins worth roughly around $15 million were transferred to various crypto exchanges, OKX, Binance, KuCoin, Bybit, and the required signer count was reduced to two out of eight wallets. The multi-sig now sits with 10 trillion tokens and one signer remaining. And I can assure you that these tokens are those tokens as well as this Twitter account are in safe hands. So that's good here. I want to explain everything that took place and provide as much transparency as possible with the Pepe community. So just to help you to understand what's going on is that there originally was a multi-sig wallet, dev wallet, uh, that held the majority of the tokens and is able to execute functions on the cryptocurrency Pepe contract. Now, it was reduced to two out of eight wallets, which are necessary to sign in order to move tokens and have access to these tokens. So that is a huge thing that is not good right now. It used to be eight out of eight wallets. So eight people would have to basically approve transactions and, you know, the moving of crypto wallets. But it was reduced to two out of eight wallets. And that means these people, they basically did some bad things within the Pepe community within the Pepe token, the Pepe team and stole funds and left. And we're going to be talking about it. So since the inception, Pepe unfortunately has been plagued by inner strife, which is just what I was talking about with a portion of the team being bad actors led by big egos and greed. Pepe is now entirely free of this baggage, which is good with clear roads ahead. There has often been conflict and the, the majority of the team involved in Pepe creation started to distance themselves after the first week of the project inception, which is the beginning. They blocked team progress on making donations or purchases with multi-sig tokens due to inability to make signatures, disagreements, and being unavailable to contact for weeks at a time. The multi-sig was set up to require three out of four signers present for an approval yesterday. These three X team members came back behind my back, logged onto the multi-sig, stole $16 trillion, 60% of the $26 trillion multi-sig tokens, and sent them to exchanges to sell, which they did sell, by the way. They then removed themselves from the multi-sig in an attempt to absolve any association to Pepe, deleting all of their social accounts and leaving me behind nothing but a message stating, the multi-sig has been updated, you are now in full control. I am shocked at what took place and would like to apologize for all the fear and uncertainty and for any losses, the actions of these bad actors have caused members of our community. The CEX wallet or sex wallet tokens were never meant to be sold on the market or for the team to profit from. Had I been charged myself the whole time, I would have made some donations and burnt the majority of the sex wallet long ago. I can assure you that the control of this Twitter account, as well as the remaining 10 trillion tokens in the multi-sig are safe and in control of someone who has the best interests for everybody and Pepe at hand, inaccessible by the nefarious X team members. As they process what has happened, as I process what has happened, I look forward to a future for Pepe where I will be able to operate with the community and tokens to best intention at mind and no negligent team members and locked multi-sig situation blocking me from doing what is best. I have started discussions with some prominent community members who will be helping me to guide things forward and I am excited in the position to do everything we can to set up Pepe to thrive as the decentralized and anti-fragile meme coin asset it deserves to be. At this point, it appears that most of all the tokens stolen from 
from the multi-sig yesterday were quickly sold on these exchanges and the remaining 10 trillion tokens left in the multi-sig was transferred out of the old multi-sig and into a new wallet where they will safely rest until a use or burn arises. I have been in negotiation with the owners of some web domains and usernames that I'm looking to acquiring for Pepe. And when I am complete with any of these prospective purchases or donations of Pepe from the multi-sig, I will burn the remainder of these multi-sig tokens. Once all is set and complete, I would like Pepe to be left in a position where it can stand and thrive as strong as ever in a truly decentralized and anti-fragile state. Together, we are all Pepe. So it shows you the addresses if you want to look them up about what had happened. And here we have it. So the bad actors apparently According to this person here, uh, the lead de developer, the last guy left, last couple people, last couple of developers left uh, are standing and the bad people have left. And what they're doing is that with the remaining funds that are left in this wallet, which is several million dollars, they're looking to either burn it or they're looking to either use it to further Pepe and Pepe community. So. Uh, the remaining FUD is pretty much dissipated. I would not be fearing of any more tokens to be sold, according to this guy. But, you know, the question is, is this guy being truthful? Did this guy have any part into it? I'm sure there is some part that this guy has played. Maybe he's lying to us all. But uh, with all the FUD and with all of the spotlight now on the Pepe team, I doubt that they're going to be doing anything crazy from this point forward. And uh, that is a good thing. That is a good thing, but it's going to cause a lot of fun. It could probably crash the token a lot further as a lot of big holders are probably wanting to sell. Um, a lot of people are probably wanting to sell and not be involved in this project, knowing that there's bad actors and have bad actors been participating inside of the Pepe team. Now, make sure you guys are using my Algo Sniper trading indicator. It gave us a seller before this Pepe crash even took place. And you can try it at algosniper.com for 90% off today. It's only five bucks. If you also want to be participating and making money every single week with me and my community members, you can follow and copy all of my exact trades in the Patreon. I have immediate access for that. Also, you can join my free Telegram community right below. Everything I'm talking about is in my video description. We are here to help you make money in crypto. If you guys got anything out of this video, consider giving this video a thumbs up, subscribing with notifications on it. I will see you later.